Welcome, Welcome to the Pew. Pew! The new old Pew. The new not old to be Pew confused with, with the new Don't say the Wonder Dog. <laughs> yes, who will not be on the new new Pew. No. Which, the new, uh, remember, the new Pew, the incredible new Pew. Remember that? Uh, He's going to move you. The incredible new schmoo. It's the new schmoo. It's from the schmoo. Oh, I don't remember that. It's from Scooby-Doo. Oh. When, they, when the new schmoo came, it's 1979. Oh. When Scooby-Doo was kind of jumping to the shark. When Scooby the Doo was kind of going out and they didn't, they needed something to revive Scooby Doo, they brought on the, the Schmoo. The new Schmoo. <laughs> the incredible new Schmoo. It's gonna move you. The incredible new Schmoo. I'm setting up a barrier between myself and oh, Dolce. The Dolce barrier. Okay, so we are gonna talk today <clears throat> about some of the things <clears throat> we're working on. Um, and, uh, um, oh, oh, and I brought, oh, I got a little something. We're going to go get, reach that, oh, that paper. That, 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 okay. Right. I just found that when I was looking through my, there's something I was going to put. Okay. I was going to do that portrait of you. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. Yeah, you do. And I was going to make this, I, I still can't make this into a painting. Oh, yes. Yes, good times. I remember, I think I vaguely remember that night. That was at Roxy. No. Was it? Oh, it, yeah, I was going to say, it, it wouldn't have been a Disco 2000 because it had the new... Oh! <laughs> oh, Dolce. This dog is awful. Okay. Here, come over here, Dolce. Go bite him. Come here. Ernie's going to talk about his book. Let Ernie talk about his book. Show, show the, re the ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 69 Hangovers. With, uh, that's Timothy on the cover, right? Yes, Timothy Reyna. Timothy Reyna. So, uh, he works at Outrage, over to the Outrage. I documented pretty much, well, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say all the parties that I went to, but most of the parties that I went to in 2016. Timothy looks cute on the cover there. Yeah, he does. And uh, I ended up writing like a sort He's of crazy. diary. Yeah, he is crazy. Uh, a sort of diary about my uh, adventures in Clubland in 2016. Well, give us an example. Well, I went to, let's see. Uh, Can I read it? Just let's pick it random. Stimulate. Okay. My flouncy cast members, Rebecca, well, Rebecca Walt and I decided to go to a goth party on Sunday for a little darkness before the fireworks. While we were at Stimulate, I noticed the carpet man was there. He's some guy who gets off on being stepped on, oh, I know him, while rolled inside a carpet. I'd seen him before at other goth parties, so I tried to persuade Rebecca to walk on him. At one point, she brought she bought a hamburger, and I really wanted her to walk on him with both feet while chomping on the hamburger. She sensed an attempt at mockery and refused. Really? Yes, she did. <laughs> really? I as, tried my best. Really, as if I hadn't essentially made a mockery of everything we did first on the pew, <laughs> and and then with with Flouncy. Later, she agreed to timidly place one foot on him while holding a cocktail. A picture with the hamburger would have been way better. Later on at Flash Factory, I accidentally knocked over a whole carafe of cranberry juice on my husband David's lap. He was a fury. He was furious, especially because I laughed after it happened. It was funny. Now, um, uh, first of all, that, that should be on the television. Okay. Um, but um, that's what's surprising about uh, Rebecca. Because, I mean... Yeah, you know, she had a hamburger in her hand, and it just would have been brilliant to have her pose on top of the carpet now with her yeah, hamburger. Yeah, and he probably would have gotten off on it, too. Well, I, I think he's oblivious to what's going on, because he's, his head is not sticking out of the carpet, so he can't really see who's walking. Well, he, isn't that his face right there? Uh, I don't think so. I've seen him at, I've seen him at events. He's sort of like um, the new... So anyway, it'll be available <laughs> on uh, Amazon.com. How much is it? Uh, it's, I think it's going to be $20. That's a bargain. Nineteen ninety nine. 99 you should make it. Okay. psychological thing. Yeah. Good idea. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome to the Pew! The new old Pew. 69 Hangovers, it's called? Yes. 
And is, it wasn't supposed to be as some kind of like salacious, like you're kind of like trying to be titillating in the title, 69? Um, yes, I, I figured I would pick that number because it does have a sexual connotation. Titillating. Yeah. So, but is it more than 69? Or is it 69? There were probably, well, you know, there are more than 69 parties in the book. And I may not have life. had yeah. 69 hangovers. I may have had like, you know, 60 or 65. Yeah, I like the way the... Uh, the Six and the nine kind of, and then some of the parties where I was really fucked up are not even in the book because I was so, so high I couldn't like take I any remember, pictures. In fact, I remember those times um, that you were, were driving home me high and like swerving on the road and like talking about how you're not going to be able to get yeah. into this. I story. learned a valuable lesson this year about <laughs> drunk driving. I'm not going to do it anymore ever. Uh, I've really just done it the last time. And, and why did you? Smash well, because it? I had because I accidentally clipped somebody's mirror while I was driving, and then that person like came following me in their car. How dare they! And I was so drunk that I didn't even notice that I clipped her mirror. So then she pulls me over, and then I, I said, "What's wrong?" It's like, "Well, you clipped my mirror." So I get out of the car and looked, and fortunately, and lo and behold, there wasn't any damage because my mirrors are the kind of mirrors that will go in if you if they hit yeah. something. So I didn't really damage her mirror. But it it was at that point, or like actually the next day that I realized that she could have just called the police anyway, and then they would have come and arrested me. And you were yeah. really drunk. So and that's uh, not the first time. Yeah, it's not the first mm -hmm. time. So, and it's mm -hmm. but it's definitely the last time. I'm never doing it again. Never. You Mark, heard it here. For, you Mark heard it here first, folks. Here Ernie Glam here. is never drunk. Ernie Glam again. will never drunk drive again. <laughs> uh, it's too risky. It is. Um, so, um, do we want to talk? Well, we could talk. We could talk about my painting. Yes, yes. I, I'm Bring doing, it on. I'm doing it. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm now doing, you know how I feel. I'm doing a portrait. This is a commissioned piece. Um, it's a, now. And do you know who this is? It's Howie Montag. It's Howie Montag, ladies and gentlemen. He's the legendary, the legendary, legendary door, door, door person, person at Howie the, the Palladium and at the Cafeteria. Yeah. And he was also Rudolph's assistant at Death Yeah, at too. And the um, ringleader of No Entiendes. Yep, with, with Anita Sarko. And um, there's a, it's not finished, of course. Uh, there's a, a nightlife legend. There's a saying on there. May he rest in peace. A quote, and the quote is, "I don't know, Tinkerbell, are you okay?" Now, do you know what that's a reference to? No. Well, Tinkerbell was a club personality uh, in the late, in the early the early to mid '80s, and she was in in the in the um, in, in the way, way of like Roll Arena and the kind of, um, Tinkerbell was a woman and she was very fairy-like and imp-like, you know, and elf, Somehow elfish, I don't remember elfish. Tinkerbell. I remember well, Roll Arena. Well, you don't remember her because in 1986, I believe it was, she killed herself. She jumped off the, her, uh, the roof of her apartment building because she was not let into Palladium fast enough. And that's, that sounds a little bit ridiculous, but um, at the time people were dying to get into Palladium or all these clubs. And um, she went, she was, was a little bit beyond her, past her prime. She was probably in her late 50, 40s. And she um, went, That's older than me. Well, back, no, that's younger than that's me. Younger than but back then, that was a big deal because it was sort of like, it's not like it is now. And so she... Right, where it's cool to be older. Hit, hit <laughs> replacement. <laughs> so she, um, uh, she went to Howie and she said, um, and she was waiting outside for a couple of minutes. And she said, um, he wasn't picking her, and she said, "Well, Howie, are, am I good enough to get in?" And he said, "I don't know, Tinkerbell. Are you good enough?" And um, she went home and jumped off the roof. So you're saying Howie has blood on his hands? Well, he's dead. So, so it's, it's all dried up, <laughs> <laughs> and the maggots are eating it, licking it. Thanks for watching. Yep.